today we're going to look at selection cycling in AutoCAD. Now you must make sure that this feature is enabled in your AutoCAD session before it will work. So what we need to do is to check to see if this is turned on, this feature. So we're going to type in DS from the keyboard and open up the drafting setting dialog box. We're going to toggle to selection cycling tab and make sure allow selection cycling is toggle on. And then these are the default setting. We can leave it as that. And then we can select OK now. And to demonstrate how this works, I'm just going to draw a line. And I'm going to copy it a couple times. I'm going to make this one red in color. I'm going to make the second one here to be green. I'm going to move them on top of each other. Now, now, to move the green line away from the red and white line, we can actually just put our cursor over these three lines. And you see that there's an icon on the upper right quadrant of the cursor with a square on top of the other square, indicating there are multiple objects uh, on top of these uh, locations. So I'm going just to hold down the control key, select the left mouse button, and then I'm going to pick the green line and I'm going to enter M from my keyboard to initiate a move command. I can just pick a point and move the green line away from the other two lines. Now, for example, if I want to rotate the white line below the red line, I'll do the same thing. Put my cursor over the two objects and hold down control key and then select the left mouse button. And I'm going to pick the white line and I'm going to initiate the rotate command R O rotate and I'm going to base on this end point and I'm going to rotate the white line. So this is how you can use the selection cycle function in AutoCAD to select object that is on top of each other.